This week on the Cruising Kiwis, Rob loves sailing. The sailing thing I've just come to love. I just absolutely love it. Ivan loves water slides. <laughs> and Declan stops breathing. So I'm going to attempt to describe to you what it is about sailing that just spins my wheels. First a little bit of background, I did do a bit of sailing when I was a kid. My dad bought a P-class yacht and when I was 11, 12 years old, sailed for two or three years and um, I was mediocre at best. <laughs> I went to the Tauranga Cup, which is the Nationals in sailing for P-Class. was 30th out of, I think, 65 competitors, so I was nothing flash at all. Uh, Leslie Egnott actually was one of the competitors there, and she won that particular year, the first female to do that, and it was uh, a fantastic thing. But anyway, I can't say I got terribly hooked on the sport at that time, because I gave it up pretty quickly uh, when I got to high school, and um, haven't sailed since, pretty much. And then we bought this yacht uh, a few years ago because I wanted to take the family on an adventure. I wanted to go uh, out onto the briny, although I had zero experience. Now, I rode across the Atlantic a number of years ago in a bathtub. That doesn't really qualify me to then buy a 43-foot catamaran and take my family on a sailing adventure around the world. But you learn as you go, and we have learned a lot as we've went, um, and we are still learning. We are still learning heaps. We're still making lots of mistakes, as you know. Unfortunately, Ivan, who's just come up on deck there, is uh, probably not sharing my um, enjoyment. He just had a little vomit. Um, 15 minutes ago. But anyway, back to my point, the sailing thing I've just come to love. I just absolutely love it. In days like today, we've got 15 to 20 knots out of the south, and we're doing about anywhere between 7 and 10 knots. I've been pretty conservative with my sail choice. I've got two, two reefs in the main and the full genera. We probably could have gone full main actually in this breeze. Just been okay, but we would have been pushing it a, bit, a little bit. We'll load the boat up a bit, and I don't like to do that if I can help it. Especially if we're in no hurry and we're going to make our destination in good time. It's just a wonderful feeling, the power of the sails pushing us along. Um, out the back here, seeing where we've been, like we used to do a lot with rowing, seeing where you've gone. But uh, it's just, just fantastic and seeing the ocean around us, I don't know. You know, if you're inkling to try it, I really do recommend it. When you get a good day like this, man, it's just sublime. What are you doing, Ike? Did you have another spew? Yeah. Oh. And you just do it off. It's because I get, you know when I got that stomach bug? Yeah. And I got so stomach bug, that. I was there. Oh, really? Okay. So you just had another little spew there. Ew. While Ivan was vomiting above board, in his cabin, Declan had stopped breathing, timing himself in the art of breath holding for free diving. Here, Declan is attempting a three minute breath hold. Following a breathing program trains a body for extended periods of apnea. 
the improved tolerance as much a mental game as a physical one. Free divers reporting feelings of euphoria on a successful prolonged dive. When the body has had enough, there are often small contractions of the diaphragm and throat. These are not signs of distress, but rather the effect of the body asking for air. With free diving training, you learn to ignore these physical effects and not panic, returning to the surface calmly to replenish oxygen supplies. We dropped anchor off the northwest point of Tavuni. In the morning, Ivan was back on form, so Rob and the boys took a taxi down the coast to the White Lava Natural Rock water slides. The boys could hardly contain themselves. So we are about to go to. Where are we go? The dive should be going to go. Um, you going to slide the down slide. the rock slide? Yeah. And I'm staying to do some editing. Yeah. Woo, look at me. Just gonna miss out. Slide it, boys! Oh, sure. They're very excited. I, I mean, know they are. Whoa! Yes! Oh my god! It's everything I ever wanted! Yeah! Whoa! Right. Yeah. <laughs> We're off. Concerned from the troops about uh, how narrow uh, the parts of this rock slide are, and they're anxiously thinking they're going to smash their hips on the side of the rock. Now, there's a patch here that is particularly narrow. I'm thinking Ivan should be able to get through, Declan might be able to get through. I definitely won't get through. <laughs> Very narrow. Oh. Thank you for watching and a big welcome to everyone who has come over here uh, directed from Sailing Zatara. Be sure to watch next week when we will be announcing a competition to win a piece of jewellery sponsored by Michael Hill, jeweller. If you enjoyed this video please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up, it helps us heaps.